What's going on, guys? My name is Jeff. Most of you know me as Top Ramen FTW for the win. That is my PS3 username. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. I hope you like my new little intro. <clears throat> Just uh, getting used to Sony Vegas here and editing and ev all that, cutting sound from audio files. It's been interesting. It's been fun. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Uh, I brought you a little Angels and Airwaves sound clip today from their song Letters to God Part 2. And a little background on Angels and Airwaves. Actually, you know what? Um, this whole video, <laughs> this whole commentary, background on Angels and Airwaves. Angels and Airwaves is the brainchild of musician Tom DeLonge. Um, he is the lead singer of, well, I guess I shouldn't say lead singer. He's one of the two singers and the guitarist for Blink-182 and also the band Boxcar Racer. Uh, when Blink-182 went on hiatus in February of 2005, Tom was left without a band. Uh, they hadn't, Boxcar Racer was no longer touring just a side project so Tom being a natural musician that he is wanted to keep going he wanted to keep writing music music that he loved and he had a compilation of music that he had uh, he had written for Blink but the other band members didn't feel that the stuff he was coming up with was Blink oriented um, at least from what I understood from the whole thing so he went on a little they went on hiatus and they were having personal issues as bands do it's a relationship and sometimes relationships don't work so uh, they need to figure some things out and Tom had this music and he wanted to uh, put it to record so he started a new band uh, Angels and Airways with his friend uh, David Kennedy and um, at the time Ryan Sin who's a bassist David Kennedy's a Another guitarist, Ryan Sins, a bass guitarist, and Adam Willard, uh, who was the drummer for The Offspring at the time, <coughs> and uh, kind of made a little super band. <laughs> and uh, they started they started recording music, and it was out there on the web that he had a new band called Angels and Airwaves. I had no idea what it was, but I wanted to hear it. All I knew was I loved Blink, everything they'd ever done. I loved Boxcar Racer. I wanted more. You know, I wanted it to be like Blink-182. I wanted to be like Boxcar Racer my favorite music and I absolutely love Tom and everything he put out to that point so I wanted more and when I first heard it it wasn't Blink it wasn't Boxcar Racer it was something totally different and it blew me away and I I fell in love with it I, I had to that point thought nothing could be better than Blink-182 and who better than the uh, the guy who started Blink-182 than to prove me wrong <laughs> with the new band and it was it's fantastic music I can the only thing I can compare it to is like a it's like a, a space arena rock sound like a imagine you two Pink Floyd and the Foo Fighters kind of mesh together that's that's the closest thing I can probably relate it to it's its own genre really it's amazing though I absolutely love it uh, highly recommend it if you like alternative rock I think it would be something you'd like to listen to so, uh, yeah, give it a shot if you'd like Angels and Airwaves. Um, they're all over YouTube. <laughs> they got their own website, angelsandairwaves.com. And uh, so, yeah, uh, Blink-182 is back now, however. I actually went and saw their show in October at the uh, Shoreline Amphitheater in Mountain View, uh, right next to the Google headquarters. And uh, it was a great show. I don't know how many seats are there, probably at least 10, 15,000, something like that. And me and my, uh, my wife went and saw them, and we really enjoyed the show. And uh, so Blink is still doing their thing. They're back. And uh, but Angels and Airwaves is still a band. Uh, Tom's not. He's not shelfing that. It's uh, it's a side project, but you know it's something he's not quitting. And I'm really glad he's not because it's a great sound. It's it's you know like his alter ego basically. And I I love it. Um, I went and saw their first Angels and Airwaves. Their second show. Well, it was their third show they'd ever done in total. Um, it was their second one in North America at the Great American Music Hall in San Francisco in 2005, I believe, I went saw them. Maybe 2006, I'm not sure. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I saw them when their first album, We Don't Need to Whisper, came out. And then I saw them again in 06 at the Warfield in San Francisco. Then again in 2007 in San Diego at the Del Mar Horse Racing Track. Um, There's probably at least 10,000 people there. It was a fantastic show. They recorded some live stuff, put it to an album later on, the I Empire album, their second album. And then when their third album, Love, came out, they released it for free on the internet, which I thought was great. Uh, it's fantastic, you know. They're just making money from touring, basically. They're going to give their music away. I thought that was great. I still paid for it because, I f you know, I'm a huge fan. But they gave it away for free. And uh, 
So I went and saw them again at the Warfield in San Francisco and downtown on Market Street. <coughs> and uh, when their Love Part 2 album came out, I went and saw them again at the Warfield. And I believe that was 2011. <coughs> I think February of 2011. Yeah, yeah, February. And uh, it was a great show. I loved it. And uh, that's been my history of the Angels and so far. And uh, this gameplay is about to wrap up. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like alternative rock, uh, give Angels and Airways a chance. You'll probably really like them. Um, they're a great band. And if you don't like Tom DeLonge's voice or Blink or anything, then don't listen to it. <laughs> it's completely up to you. Anyway, hope you guys like the uh, gameplay. 46 and 9. Top Ramen FTW. Talk later. <laughs>